test, test. Wacom Texas. Hey everybody and welcome back to Wacom Texas. The show where you dream past the part and we screencast some art. I'm here with Jay Myers. And I'm here with Chris Kerr. Hi. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, usually we try to draw something in Photoshop, but today we're going to we're not doing that use today. this tool for something kind of out of the blue. Something maybe that wasn't designed for, but that's what we could do with it. Well, interesting we're gonna you said blue because we're going to show you how to make a cyanotype. With an old photograph. So we're going to take an image that we have here and we're going to update it a little bit. It's yellowed over the years, but we're going to kind of bring it up to the 2013. Well, uh, it was popular in the 20th century actually, like over 100 years ago. We're going to take a really okay. old photo and make it look around the same age, but a cyanotype. Okay. So... Um, it was Let's... an artistic process used by the Bohemians oh, wow. to um, impart a blue tint on a photograph. So I'm bringing the tools in here so you can see. What As we... always, we're enjoying our favorite snack, Pirate's Brand. Pirate Brand. Pirate Pirate brand. Booty, booty Snack. snack. Got that crunchy. Oh, that photo looks old. It's old, it's aged, it's yellowed over the years. So what we do is you go up to image adjustments and color balance. This is primarily where we'll be for this photo. We'll show you a couple different tricks too. I enjoyed though back in the day when um, women wore like floor length dresses and men wore the um, pocket watches. So simpler time. Vest. Simpler time. Simpler times. Now we women wear not so long dresses sometimes, depending. And men, you have phones. We don't have pocket watches. Well, I still wear the same thing. You do wear I the wear same shants, thing. Harley Davidson shirts. Okay, so uh, we've got the color balance over here. We're gonna show you a couple cool things with this tool. Chris was telling me how to do this earlier. I'm not doing anything today. No, you got. I can't remember how to do this. What am I doing? I'm bringing it over to cyan for cyan type. Oh, wow, okay, okay, there we go. Image, adjustments, color balance. And then cyan type. Wow. But you only did the midtones. You can do the shadows too. Okay, shadows. Mm -hmm. Click here. Shadows. Click there. Yep. And then do that yep. cyan as well. Oh wow. Okay. And then the blue on the bottom. Blue over here. The slider. Oh wow. Wow. And then you can do the highlights too. And the highlights. What's that over here? Yep. Then what do I do? Cyan, cyan same thing? and blue. Yep. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, that so there we go. That's how you make a cyanotype. It's pretty much that easy. Just a couple, yeah, couple if you, seconds. If you Wikipedia, they talk about aluminum, ferra, chloride, sulfate. It's not necessary and it sounds hazardous. Yeah, it's, it's probably hazardous. dangerous. Yeah. So we did this photo. It's done. It looks pretty good. We're going to go ahead and export it or save it. Looks um, great, actually. It looks great. And that's apparently the Tanner family. Uh, we'll save that. And Tanner we'll family cyanotype. We'll replace it because we say want that, to get rid of the old three one. times in a row. Tanner family sanitype. Tanner family sanitype. Tanner family sanitype. Okay, we're gonna go now. We're gonna get a new image. Not that hard. And it is going to be. Uh, I've got a couple. You're gonna here. see you it see. also pop up behind me. Oh, this one. You'll see neat. another image. I don't know where that go. Oh, show there it is. Up. Okay, I see. Okay, this is making sense now. I was getting a little confused. So here we have a scene Wait of a, a farmer farming. <laughs> yeah. That's my grandpa. Hey, and we're, no trees. That's my grandpa. Where'd you find that photo? That's Grandpa Kerr. My grandpa was a Christmas tree farmer. Which one? No. The guy in the what? foreground. Foreground meaning the um, closest to the viewer. This one? Yeah. Frank. You're kidding. No, it's my grandpa, Frank Kerr. He had a Christmas tree farm in Hershey, Pennsylvania. So what I'm going to show you with this one is a trick <clears throat> where we're going to restore it basically kind of the same thing, but this one we're going to try to restore it to its original color. A well, black and white photograph. It's yellowed a little bit over the years. You can see some spots in the corner, but we're going to take those out and we're going to kind of make it look fresh, crisp. He drank a lot of coffee and whiskey and, and cut a lot of trees. Beer, cut a lot of trees. Okay, some tree so sap up there. what I've got now is the wand tool, which is right here. You can click the wand tool and you can click where we're going to. This is obviously supposed to be white. J U A N? Juan? Or uh, Juan. Uh, J U A N. Yeah. No. Juan. No. I've never heard That's of wand tool. That's pretty funny. No. Uh, no, wand. W A N D. So we're gonna take it and we're gonna go, we're gonna turn this white. So I've got my preset colors like here. A wizard wand. I've got the yellow. I mean the white as the um, foreground, which you said earlier. Black as background. Now I'll show you how to kind of do a quick key with the wand. So we got the wand. We've selected what we want white, and now we have the color selected. Now option delete. 
You might remember our um, terms white. fore and aft from our Kentucky episode. Now you can Kentucky click Lake. over here. We were in the front of the boat. We would want, say the fore side, and we were in the back. We would say aft. So we've got this clicked. We want to turn that white. Again, option delete. We want that white. We know that's supposed to be white. Option Similar to, literature. Oh. You have the forward and the Option afterward. delete. We're not going to do that. We're actually going to go back. Oh, that's, looks great. Okay. It looks like frost. No, no. I don't think that's how it's supposed to look. Like um, Xmas. Um, command... Command Z. How do you go back? Z, that's right. So we don't want that. We're not going to select that because that's going to change too much right now. We're going to actually select this little piece here. And we're going to do that black. So now you're going to do Apple Delete. That'll make it black because that's the secondary color that I got picked. So right now we're really getting it fresh. It's got the black and the white. We're just kind of highlighting the hope difference in the a, colors. I hope we don't have a PC because they they're not going to have an Apple key. They probably want – this is for a Mac. So Option Delete for the white again. Option Delete for the white. This one, every time I select it, oh no, that works. Okay, option delete. So now we're getting back to the black and white colors. We're gonna go now maybe with, here's- That photo was so dirty, I never even knew that delete. that even existed in there. It's like you're brushing off the you're dust done. from- Okay, now he, he, uh, he's he got the same complexion as you. Yep. So he, this guy, uh, I think does too. Well, he is deceased, but he's- he Whoa, whoa, like whoa, whoa. We don't really want to select everything at once. That looks good, so that's gonna be white. It looks like he's wearing the Texas Chainsaw Master he got the same mask. same complexion. I don't think my mom's gonna like this. So now we're gonna go, dad. wait, his hat looks like it's supposed to be black. So we're just kind of refreshing. Now we're gonna add in some gray because it's not all black and white in black and white photos. We got gray there. That looks like it's supposed to be gray. Option delete, yeah. Mm. So this is getting kind of back now. The contrast is getting bumped up. Yeah. It's starting to look really good. This is just an easy way to kind of refresh an old photograph. That looks good. It looks more look realistic that. now. Uh, it looks crisper at least. Yeah, it you does. don't have the kind of weird just Shape, pine needles everywhere. Okay, the pine needles are probably a darker gray. Let's go darker. Yeah. Because there's multiple shades in gray. Here we go. So option delete. There we yeah. go. That's more of like the That's good. same kind of pitch. Oh, yeah. So we're almost done here. Uh, we can send this one off now to your mom. She'll be happy. We She'll fixed love it. an old photograph of your grandfather. Yeah, looks really good. Looks really contrasty. Good job. Uh, with that. Real high contrast, and basically we repaired an old. This photo. is really easy. You can do this at home. You can if do you this have at a computer home. at home, or if you go to the library a lot. Uh, I don't know if the library will have Photoshop, but they might have something familiar. You could yeah, probably do Painter. it. The Quick Keys might be different though. Painter Pro or something. Or right, Microsoft Paint. Let's or do another one. So okay, time? so that one looks good. Yeah, we've got enough time. I think we're doing pretty good. So we're gonna uh, save this to the desktop so we can send it to your mom. X me, uh, Xmas Xmas Tree Farm. Okay. Well, it could be Christmas, but we'll, we'll, just, we'll so we're gonna replace it because we don't want the old yellow one. We want the new fresh look. So now let's bring in one more photo. I think I've gotten another the one I one found. Like crap. What? The last one looked like crap. I was just putting on a face. It was like not even detailed anymore. It looked like a paint by number. Well, what are you that's doing? A, it's the old photo. The, the old cameras now aren't as sensitive to. No, we cut, we're gonna, we'll cut that part out. Mm. All right, we're back. It was fine. But, uh, what? Okay. Do you All want right, to do this? two success stories. Let's go for a third. Okay. You can do this. Uh, so now we've got like a nice family here. We're gonna kind of maybe do the same thing. We're gonna go ahead and. This family start. looks angry. I. Is this your mom's family or your dad's family? Uh, this is on my mom's side, so I don't. The guy has the same um, funny little mustache like you. He does have a mustache like me. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so that's gonna be. It's a fair skin, like this girl. It's funny, like we haven't seen this today, um, but a lot of the old photos have a lot of writing on the photos. I noticed that. I think that's a photographer maybe that originally took it. So, yeah. because it wasn't there, believe it or not, there was a time when things were not digital, and uh, people took a photograph on Flynn. So what's it called Flynn that you put on a camera? I don't know. Does it say on the side? Film or something? No, it's, uh, it says Sabina, Ohio. Oh. And so then um, somebody would write on it with like a okay, pen to let people know who was in the photo. What you All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe we shouldn't do that one. Um, Command Z. We don't, that's like a gray. So let's select a gray here. We're almost done, folks. I hope you're able to follow along. It's um, a really easy way to dehumanize your photographs and make, make it look like a paint by number, in my opinion. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, I feel like you're taking a lot of the character out of these people's lives and replacing it with mechanical... Um, hard edged. We're, we're just trying to bring it up to date. It's an old photo. It's yellowed. We're just trying to kind of make it look like you want to hang it up again. Do you really want that 
old photo in your library or oh this is looking good they look like shakers or like nuns this is like a nun family uh i think that actually looks pretty good again maybe we'll save this one out so that is how Those you can repair old photos i suggest maybe surprising um, your mother for her birthday or Mother's Day is past, of course, but maybe next year you can go ahead and go through her album, repair all of her photos, all right, and give her a whole got image, new album. Image adjustment. Sign the type. Wait, cyan um, type. Shadow area. Move that to blue and cyan. And then with this, you're using the wand, magic wand. Wand tool. And you're using background and foreground colors. Uh, foreground is option delete. Background is. Apple delete, and that's for the Mac. That's the quick keys. It's, it saves you a lot of time. Okay, I think that's our episode. That's our show. Thank so, you for watching. Uh, repair those photos out there. Have a good night. Wait so now it's bringing one more photo. I think I've gotten another one I found. Crap. What? The last one looked like crap. I was just putting on a face.